created in 2009 a policy guideline on human rights and rental housing, which means if you're a landlord and you have a tenant who is destroying your premises, using guns and drugs, running a crack house, prostitution, uh, starting fires, you can't serve a notice and file an application to the Landlord Tenant Board until you've first undertaken your duty to accommodate under the Human Rights Code. And the duty to accommodate is a duty to accommodate to the point of what's called undue hardship, which the courts have said is just shy of bankruptcy. So you probably thought the Human Rights Code only dealt with what you could ask or not ask or who you could refuse for new tenants. The new policy guideline enacted under the McGinty Liberal Government makes you a social worker when a tenant lives in your basement paying 500 a month. <clears throat> what if you want to check with the Landlord Tenant Board to find out if somebody's been evicted or caused damage or committed illegal acts before a new tenant moves in? You'd love to go to the LTB and make a Freedom of Information request or go to their website and get a copy of the order, but you can't do that either because, again, under the McGinty government, the Information and Privacy Commissioner decided that you can't get the names of bad tenants. In every other court proceeding, there are public records. You can go online, you can go to canlie.org, you can have commercial accounts with uh, uh, legal databases, you can go down to the courthouse. With every other type of court, you have access to the information about the parties to a dispute, but not with the Landlord Tenant Board. Their policy, and again, the provincial government policy, is to let serial predator tenants offend again and again and again. Now, I've been there and part of the system since 2001. I know there are a lot of bad landlords and a lot of bad tenants and a lot of good landlords and a lot of good tenants. But the system is so unbalanced, and I've just touched on a number of ways. And if I could give you one piece of advice, it's don't be in a hurry when you're renting. Don't take the first person who comes in. You're better off leaving the unit empty for a month while you adjust your price if you have to and interview some more people. But the only time that you have any sort of control is before the tenancy starts. After the tenancy starts, the government strips that control away from you. Try to get out of the business. Try to get your house back. Say you want to move in. The number of people who are robbed of their homes and their equity in their homes because the government says, we don't believe you want to move back in. You know the government has the right to the Landlord Tenant Board to deny your good faith application to move back into your home, even if they believe it's in good faith, if the tenant has a disability. But did you know that when you're renting your home out, that you might never get it back? And all you're left with, instead of equity, is a controlled rent that will never go up very much, particularly under the new, um, what was it, Bill 111 or something, on the, the guideline at 2.5%. So be careful. It's a business. It's a tough business. I would highly advise, and I'm not, I don't take new clients. I'm not here shilling for your business. Um, I'm not, I have more clients than I need. I would strongly advise that anybody who has a rental property get a good lease from a good source, get good application forms, understand the rules about notice to entry, and find a local paralegal who when you have a problem, or before you have a problem, you can get some good advice for who does landlord-tenant law. To go into your local you know, real estate lawyer or family law lawyer, they will tell you what their common sense tells them, but their common sense is probably wrong because landlord-tenant law has nothing to do with common sense. So find a good paralegal, someone who knows landlord-tenant law, spend a couple of nights at the LTB website, read everything you can. If you don't treat it as a business, you're going to get burned badly. So I hope that that's been helpful to you. Thank you. Everybody.